Dive into the ultimate guide for mastering your Capgemini Salesforce developer interview, brought to you exclusively by SaaS Guru. We've handpicked a collection of technical skills, coding challenges, and real-world scenarios with expert answers to elevate your performance. Get ready to excel as we delve into technical skills and coding questions and answers. Explain how Apex is used in Salesforce development and its key features. Apex is a strongly typed, object-oriented programming language used in Salesforce for writing business logic. It allows developers to execute flow and transaction control statements on the Salesforce server in conjunction with calls to the API. Key features include its similarity to Java, built-in support for DML operations, and its ability to work with Salesforce's robust data model. Apex also supports testing and debugging, which is essential for building scalable and maintainable applications in the Salesforce ecosystem. Describe the process of creating a custom object in Salesforce and its importance. Creating a custom object in Salesforce involves defining the object and its fields, setting up page layouts, and configuring related lists. This process is integral for tailoring Salesforce to meet specific business requirements. Custom objects can store unique information related to other records. They are fundamental in extending Salesforce's capabilities beyond its standard offerings, allowing businesses to capture and organize data specific to their operations. How do you handle error handling in Apex? Error handling in Apex is crucial for maintaining robust applications. It is typically managed through try-catch blocks. In the try block, you place code that might throw an exception, and in the catch block, you handle the exception. Apex provides a system exception class that includes several subclasses to handle different types of exceptions, allowing developers to write more precise and meaningful error handling code. Can you explain what a SOQL query is and give an example? SOQL, or Salesforce Object Query Language, is used to search your organization's Salesforce data for specific information. It's similar to SQL but is designed specifically for querying Salesforce data. For example, to retrieve the name and email of all active contacts, you would use select name, email from contact where is active equals true. This showcases an understanding of SOQL syntax and its application in accessing Salesforce data efficiently. Discuss how Visual Force is used in Salesforce development and its key benefits. Visual Force is a framework that allows developers to build custom user interfaces for mobile and web apps within Salesforce. It uses a tag-based markup language, similar to HTML, and can include powerful features like controllers and extensions for incorporating business logic. The key benefits of Visual Force include its flexibility in UI design, seamless integration with Salesforce data, and support for dynamic, interactive user interfaces. It's instrumental in creating tailored user experiences in Salesforce applications. Write an Apex trigger to update a custom field on all related opportunities when an account status changes to preferred. This trigger creates a follow-up task for each new contact added to any campaign setting the task date a week from the current date. Describe how to use SOQL to fetch the last three closed one opportunities for a specific account. This SOQL query retrieves the ID, name, and close date of the last three opportunities where the stage is closed one for a given account, sorted by the most recent close date. How can you use Apex to dynamically create a new task every time a contact is added to a campaign? This trigger creates a follow-up task for each new contact added to any campaign, setting the task date a week from the current date. How would you use a batch Apex class to process large datasets in Salesforce? Provide an example. This batch Apex class template can be used to process records from a large dataset with custom logic in the execute method. Write a simple Apex class method to check if a given contact ID belongs to an account with more than 50 employees. This Apex method is large account 
checks if the specified contact is associated with an account that has more than 50 employees. It queries the number of employees field from the account related to the given contact and returns true if the number of employees exceeds 50 and false otherwise. This method provides a simple yet practical example of how to handle relational data in Salesforce Apex. Now, let's move on to real-world scenario-based segment. A client wants to implement a system to prioritize high-value leads automatically. How would you use Salesforce to achieve this? To prioritize high-value leads in Salesforce, I would first define criteria for what constitutes a high-value lead such as industry, company size, or potential deal size. Then, I would use a custom Apex trigger to assign a priority level to each lead based on these criteria. For instance, leads from the technology sector with a potential deal size over $100,000 could be marked as high priority. This method allows the sales team to focus their efforts more effectively and improve conversion rates. How would you handle a situation where a sales team needs real-time updates on key opportunities? For real-time updates, I would leverage Salesforce's chatter feature to enable instant notifications on opportunity records. By setting up automatic posts in chatter when key fields on an opportunity are updated like stage or close date, the sales team can receive notifications immediately. This ensures that the team is always informed about significant changes enabling them to react swiftly and effectively. Imagine you're tasked with reducing the time it takes for customer service reps to resolve cases. What Salesforce features would you use? To reduce case resolution time, I would implement Salesforce service cloud features like Lightning Service Console for a unified agent interface, knowledge base for quick access to solutions, and omni-channel routing to distribute cases efficiently. For example, the Lightning Service Console could be configured to provide a comprehensive view of customer information and case history, allowing agents to resolve cases more efficiently. A client has multiple Salesforce instances, but wants a unified view of their customer data. What approach would you recommend? In this scenario, I would recommend using Salesforce's MuleSoft AnyPoint platform for integration. This platform can connect multiple Salesforce instances and aggregate data into a single, coherent view. For example, customer data scattered across different instances can be synchronized in real time, providing a unified and updated view of each customer, which is critical for informed decision-making and personalized customer experiences. Describe a solution for a company wanting to automate its discount approval process in Salesforce. To automate the discount approval process, I would utilize Salesforce's approval processes. This tool allows for creating multi-step approval processes with specific criteria. For instance, if a sales rep requests a discount above 15%, the request could automatically be routed to their manager for approval. The process can include email notifications for pending approvals, ensuring timely responses and maintaining an efficient workflow. How would you approach a situation where a client needs a custom dashboard in Salesforce to track their sales performance in different regions? For creating a custom dashboard to track sales performance, I would utilize Salesforce's reporting and dashboard features. I'd start by defining the key performance indicators, KPIs relevant to the client's sales, such as total sales, average deal size, and conversion rates by region. Using Salesforce's Report Builder, I'd create reports for these KPIs and then compile them into a comprehensive dashboard. I would also ensure that the dashboard is interactive and dynamic, allowing the client to filter and view data by specific regions, timeframes, or other criteria. A client complains about the low adoption rate of Salesforce among their sales team. What strategies would you suggest to increase user engagement? To address low Salesforce adoption, I would recommend a combination of user training, customization to meet the sales team's specific needs, and integration with tools they already use. For instance, simplifying the user interface to align with their daily tasks, integrating Salesforce with their email system for easier access to client communications, 
and conducting regular training sessions to demonstrate the platform's value in streamlining their sales processes. Additionally, I would suggest implementing gamification elements, like leaderboards or rewards for regular Salesforce usage, to encourage user engagement. If a client needs to streamline their lead generation process within Salesforce, what solutions would you propose? To streamline lead generation, I would propose using Salesforce's web to lead functionality to capture leads directly from their website. Additionally, implementing Salesforce flows to assign and follow up on leads based on predefined criteria like industry, location, or lead source would ensure efficient lead management. I'd also recommend integrating Salesforce with marketing automation tools to nurture leads with personalized email campaigns, further enhancing the lead generation process. How would you assist a client who wants to integrate Salesforce with an external accounting system for better financial data management? For integrating Salesforce with an external accounting system, I would use Salesforce APIs and middleware solutions like MuleSoft. This integration would allow seamless data flow between Salesforce and the accounting system, ensuring data consistency and accuracy. For example, when a sales deal is closed in Salesforce, the relevant financial information can be automatically updated in the accounting system. This integration would provide a holistic view of the customer lifecycle, from sales to financial management, enhancing decision-making and operational efficiency. Describe how you would develop a solution in Salesforce for a client who wants to automate customer feedback collection after each service interaction. To automate customer feedback collection, I would leverage Salesforce's email service and process automation tools. After each service interaction, an automated email with a feedback form could be triggered to the customer. This process could be set up using Salesforce flows. The feedback collected can then be stored in Salesforce, linked to the corresponding service record. This automated system would not only ensure consistent feedback collection, but also provide valuable insights into customer satisfaction and service quality for continuous improvement.